the focus of this uh, video will be on uh, claiming the education credit, the uh, American Opportunity Credit, which is Form 8863. And so here we have a single filer who is also a full-time college student. And at the end of the year, the student received the Form 1098T, which is the tuition statement. So here we have the uh, filer who is John Smith and he attended ABC University full-time in 2023 and he received the uh, Form 1098-T, the tuition statement. And uh, John Smith also worked uh, part-time in 2023. And uh, in, or in order to claim the American Opportunity Credit Form 8863, uh, these conditions here have to be met. So first, the student has to be pursuing a degree, uh, like a four-year degree, and be enrolled at least half time, and must not have finished a four-year degree. And then also, the uh, American Opportunity Credit can only be claimed a maximum of four times. And then after that, the lifetime learning credit uh, can be claimed. And so for the student John Smith, this is his uh, W-2. So he may worked, uh, he worked part-time and he made $15,000 in 2023. And his federal income tax withheld is $1,500. And then this is his uh, tuition statement of Form 1098-T. So his uh, tuition and books and lab, fee, lab fees, and so all together is $14,000. And then the uh, John, uh, and then uh, John Smith also got some scholarship and grants, total uh, for well, a total of $4,000. So even though his expenses uh, for tuition and books and lab and a, a total of fourteen thousand dollars, but he also received fourteen. Uh, he also received four thousand dollars in scholarships and grants, and so therefore he can only uh, deduct. He can only use ten thousand dollars. Here, fourteen thousand minus four thousand is ten thousand dollars. So uh, his. Uh, uh, expenses for tuition and books will be ten thousand dollars. And so, to uh, uh, claim the um, American Opportunity Credit, we have to fill out Form eighty-eight sixty-three and then also Schedule three. So first, we'll go to Form ten forty, and then we'll go to Form eighty-eight sixty-three. So here we have Form 1040, uh, first name, last name, John Smith, Social Security number, home address, city, state, and zip code. And then here, filing status, or marked single. And so this is a 20-year-old student, so the student is not born before... Uh, 1959, it's not blind, no children. Line 1A from the W-2 is the uh, $15,000. And John Smith has no other income. And so line 1Z is a total of $15,000. And then uh, no uh, taxable interest, dividends, nothing here. So line 9 is $15,000, which is the total income. No schedule 1, so 0. Line 11, this is the adjusted gross income. It's $15,000. So and then we use standard deduction. So standard deduction for single filers. 
is $13,850 for the year uh, 2023. So line 12, standard deduction is $13,850. And then uh, line 13, uh, no uh, form 8995, so it's zero. So line 14, uh, line 14 is $13,850. And so the taxable income will be 1150 And so that's 15000 minus 13850 And we get a taxable income of uh, 1150 And so now let's go uh, find the uh, corresponding tax for this uh, taxable income. And so we go to the uh, tax... Uh, the, uh, tax table so to get the uh, tax table for year 2023 we can just go to Google and then type in 2023 tax table and then click on tax table and here's the uh, tax table the taxable income here is uh, 1150 so we just scroll down until we find 1150 for single filers. So here we have 1150 and then for single filers, the corresponding tax is $116. Once again, the uh, taxable income of 1150 corresponding tax for single filers is $116. So here we're back at form 1040. So the uh, for a taxable income of 1150 the corresponding tax is $116. Uh, no Schedule 2, and so it'll be 0. Line 18, the uh, combined line 16 and 17, so we have $116. No child tax credit. And then uh, to claim the American Opportunity Credit, uh, this is where we would start uh, Schedule 3 and Form 8863. So this is Form 8863, which is the uh, Education Credits or the uh, uh, American Opportunity Credit or the Lifetime Learning uh, Credit. So in this case, we uh, will be claiming the American Opportunity Credit. And the uh, form, it has three parts, part one, part two, and part three. And so for this form, we need to start with part three. So this is the student's name. John Smith, social security number, name of the college, address of college, and then uh, question two, did the student receive the form 1098T? So we say yes, and then uh, look back at form 1098T, was box seven checked? And so let's look at form 1098T. And so this is uh, John Smith's Form 1098T, and then this is Box 7 right here. And sometimes it's checked. And so if it's checked, then we need to deal with it. But in this case, it's not checked. So we mark no. And then line 4, this is the college, uh, college uh, ID number and so this number right here it can be found on form 1098 t 
Uh, line 23, uh, once again, the American Opportunity Credit can only be claimed a maximum of four times. And so that's what line 23 is asking. Has the American uh, Opportunity Credit been claimed four times already? And so let's just say uh, no uh, this time. And then if uh, we have a situation that's yes, then we need to mark yes. But in this case, it's no. And then uh, line 24, was the student at, enroll at least half time? Uh, yes. So go to line 25. Did the student complete the first four years of post-secondary education? And so no. Let's go to line 6. And was the student uh, convicted before the end? of uh, 2023 and so uh, if a student has a criminal record a record then you cannot claim the uh, American opportunity credit you have to claim the uh, lifetime learning credit so in this case we answer no and line 27 adjusted qualified education expenses record that the student has a um, Qualify education expenses of $14,000, but he also received a scholarship and grants of $4,000. So his qualified education expenses uh, will be just $10,000. So $14,000 minus $10,000 uh, minus $4,000 will be $10,000 of qualified uh, tuition and related expenses. So uh, the student has a uh, uh, qualified education expenses of $10,000 but here we can only enter a maximum of 4000 So we cannot put $10,000 here. Maximum is 4000 Line 28 subtract 2000 from line 27 and so we get 2,000. Multiply line 28 by 25% or 0 0.25. So we do 2,000 times 0 0.25, then we get 500. Line 30 is combined. It says if line 28 is 0, then enter the amount on line 20. 7. Otherwise, add 2,000 to line 29. Line 29 is 500. Add 2,000, we have 30, uh, we have 2,500. And then uh, skip line 31. Line 31 is the uh, American Opportunity Credit. So this is line 31 which is the lifetime learning credit and uh, once again uh, you cannot claim both a uh, given student cannot claim both credits at the same time is one or the other and then uh, uh, says here to take this figure here and go to part one uh, and, and, input and enter on line one So here we have part one, and then this is line one, $2,500. Line two, if filing, uh, filing status is single, enter 90000 Enter the amount from line 11 of form 1040, that's the adjusted gross income, which is 15000 dollars from 1040 adjusted gross income fifteen thousand dollars line four subtract line three from line two so we have ninety thousand minus fifteen thousand is seventy five thousand dollars line five for a single fi uh, for a filing status of single, enter ten thousand. Line six, if line four 
is more than line 5, enter 1.000. Line 4 is 75,000. Line 5 is 10,000. And so line 4 is more. And so we enter 1.000. Line 7 is multiply line 1 by line 6. And so we have 2,500. Line 8, multiply line 7 by 40% or 0 0.40. So 2,500 times 0 0.40, we get a 1,000. So this is the refundable credit. So part 1 is for refundable credit, and then part 2 is for non-refundable. Nine, subtract line eight from line seven. Twenty-five hundred minus a thousand is fifteen hundred. And then enter uh, line ten is line thirty-one from part three. Uh, line thirty-one part three is the lifetime learning credit, and we don't have any, so it'll be just zero. Line 31, there's nothing here, so it's zero. And then uh, it says here that if uh, maybe zero here, then we just skip everything and then go to line 19. And then uh, Line 18, because we don't have anything here, so line 18 will be just 0. And then uh, to get line 19, uh, we need to uh, complete the uh, credit limit worksheet. So we need the credit limit worksheet for Form 8863. To uh, find the uh, credit limit worksheet for Form 8863, Three, just go to Google and then uh, uh, find Form 8863 Credit Limit Worksheet, and then we'll get this link. And then it will take us to this page, Instructions for Form 8863, and then scroll all the way down until uh, we see line 19, and this is the Credit Limit Worksheet. Of form eighty eight sixty three, and then uh, to complete the worksheet, line one it says uh, go to form eighty eight sixty three and get the amount from line eighteen. Line eighteen is zero. Go to form eighty eight sixty three and get the amount. From line 9, line 9 is 1500, uh, line 3, add 1 at line 1, and line 2, we get 1500, uh, and line 4 is go to form uh, 1040, and get the amount from line 18, form 1040, the amount on line 18, is a hundred and a hundred sixteen. We have a hundred and sixteen. And then it says go to schedule three, look at lines one, two, one, two, six D and six L. This is the uh, schedule three, which is the additional credits and payments. So we want to look at line one line 2, line 6D, and 6L. And there's nothing here. This will be just 0. Line 6, subtract line 5 from line 4, 116, minus 0 is 116. And then enter the smaller of line 3 or line 6. 
Line 3 is 1500, line 6 is 116. And um, to uh, record the 1500, that's the uh, non-refundable part of the uh, American Opportunity Credit. But because the uh, single filer here, he only has a tax of $116, so he can only use $116 of this $1,500. And the rest is not refundable. And so here uh, it says uh, take this 116 and go back to line uh, form 8863, line 19. So here we have form 8863, and line 19 is the $116. Then uh, here it says go uh, take this figure here and then go to Schedule 3 and input it on line 3. So here we have Schedule 3 and then line 3 which is the Education Credits from Form 8863 line 19 which is 116. And then on uh, Schedule 3 here there's nothing else and so everything is just blank and so line 7 will be 0 and then line 8 is to combine all of this right here and we get $116. And then uh, it says here to take this figure of $116 here, go to form 1040 and input it on line 20. So here we're back at uh, form 1040 and so line 20 where we will input a hundred and sixteen dollars. Line 21 is add line 19, line 20. Line uh, 22, subtract line 21 from line 18. So we have 116 minus 116 is zero. And so uh, line 23, self-employment tax, nothing, so be zero. And then the line 24, the total tax is zero. W, uh, federal income tax would help. 25A uh, recorded uh, this single filer. His uh, income tax would hold is $1,500 from his uh, W. Two. and uh, nothing here we saw 25d and we have fifteen hundred dollars nothing in 26 and then uh, line 27 which is uh, earned income credit zero child tax credit zero and then the American opportunity opportunity uh, credit is from form 8863 line 8 is one thousand dollars. Line 8, one thousand dollars. I saw line 32, the, the, this is see, line 31, schedule 3, line 15 is zero. There's nothing on line 15. And then uh, Line uh, 32 will be a thousand, and then the refund will be twenty-five hundred dollars. It's fifteen hundred plus a thousand, which is twenty-five hundred dollars. And uh, once again, to uh, To get this uh, refund back uh, fast, and then uh, we need to uh, submit it online. And uh, we want to do it for free. And then the IOS has a uh, website that's called IOS Fillable Forms. And then uh, we'll go to Google, and then it uh, will take us to this page, and then click on Start Free file fillable forms and then if you have an account sign in if you don't have one then create one 
and then you just uh, input all of the data from all these forms form 1040 form 8863 schedule 3 and then the w2s and then you just submit it and send it to the ios if there's an error then the ios will send it back within a couple of hours you just fix the errors and then uh, resubmit it and so uh, in summary the um, with this um, video, we uh, learned how to uh, fill out Form 8863 to claim the uh, American Opportunity Credit.